How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. Right guys, story in the Bristol live this time. Uh, it's about the um, tragic death in custody of Kevin Crehan at HMP Bristol. Um, headline reads, Appalled family vowed to sue Bristol prison after major failing in son's death. We strongly believe there is systematic failings contributed to Kevin's death. God bless um, Kevin Crehan, may rest in peace. Thoughts and prayers are with your family. Um, may you guys fight and um, fight till the very end and stuff. And I, I know you've got mine and my subscribers' um, support. Uh, the family of a Bristol man who died of an overdose in prison after five separate failings by the authorities have said they are appalled by what happened and intended to take legal action. The parents of Kevin Crehan launched a scathing attack on HMP Bristol and the Avon and Wiltshire Mental Health Partnership following an inquest which concluded the failings and omissions of care contributed to their son's death. Crehan died on the night of Boxing Day in 2016, and it has taken two years for an inquest to be held to discover what happened to him. The jury at the eight-day inquest found he died of a drug overdose three days after he was taken to hospital and placed in a medically induced coma following a previous overdose. But there were failings in the way the mental health workers and prison authorities dealt with him during those days, especially when he was discharged from hospital on Boxing Day and returned to prison. The jury found five separate specific failings they decided contributed to his death. A statement released by the family of Kevin Crehan spoke of how they were appalled at what happened to him and the way he was treated by prison authorities. The inquest has highlighted a number of failings at HMP Bristol relating to the management, care and well-being of prisoners in their custody, the family statement said. We strongly believe that there are systematic failings contributed to Kevin's death. Kevin was allowed to return to prison, having been placed in a medically induced coma just two days earlier, without a health, without a health care screening and without ongoing observation, despite information within the prison that highlighted how vulnerable Kevin was, they added. The 35-year-old had been jailed for five months earlier for a racially aggravated public order offence committed during a controversial protest at a mosque in Totterdown in January of 2016. Now, I don't condemn that, uh, the racism side of things, not, not in any which way, but take that out of the story. Uh, this is a, a vulnerable prisoner in prison. Um, you can see from the picture that he, he was obviously an addict and stuff. Now, with addicts and stuff, some people are like, oh, yeah, it's people choose to take drugs. I don't really buy into that. I think it's uh, part of a much wider problem. Um, it's used probably a coping mechanism and stuff like that. Uh, he'd just been weeks from being released on licence, but fell back into taking illicit drugs in prison following the transfer from Guy's Marsh in Dorset to Bristol on November the 30th. We are appalled that HMP Bristol do not seem to be learning from their mistakes and vulnerable prisoners continue to die in their custody as identified by um, Her Majesty's Inspector for Prisons in their report in March of 2017, the family statement added. The jury's founding that the Act Assessment, Care in Custody and Teamwork should have been open for Kevin further highlights the poor understanding within the prisons of how to deal with vulnerable prisoners. This has to change to avoid other families going through what we have been through over the past two years. This will be the subject of further litigation, and uh, so no further comment will be made at this time, they added. Following the conclusion of the inquest, Avon Coroner Marie Voison told the jury that she considered making a prevention of future deaths order, but having heard submissions from the prison authorities and the uh, AWP Mental Health Trust um, that changes have been made, she considered it was not necessary. Um... <clears throat> now, guys, prisons are, like I say, people that, uh, he might have been placed on a normal wing induction and then been fed into the main, but he could have been on a detox wing. Ordinarily in prisons, if you are on a detox wing um, or a recovery wing, uh, there's probably, there's, there's often more drugs on the recovery units and drug-free wings than there are on other wings because obviously your market place is there. You've got a wing full of prisoners that have got they've got substance misuse, they've they've got addictions to prescription drugs, illicit drugs, and it's a very it's like a shooting fish in a barrel. It really, really is. Um, I, I've covered the death in Kevin Crehan previously. Uh, God bless him, may he rest in peace. Like I say, addiction isn't a laughing matter. Um, for me, it's part of a much wider problem and. 
like you say, before offenders were ever offenders, they were first victims. I don't condone his charge, by the way, uh, racially aggravated. Um, something to do with a mosque. Um, like I say, whether it be putting bacon on a mosque or pork products, I'm not sure. Um, but like I say, I don't condone his charge, not in any which way. But the fact is, a man has left prison in a body bag. Um, and five separate failings contributed to his death of Kevin Crehan. People might turn around and say you shouldn't take drugs, but guys, prison is, people take drugs for many different reasons in prisons. Peer pressured, was already addicts, uh, spiked, coping mechanism, um, the list goes on and on and on. And the reality is no one should go to prison for rehabilitation and leave prison in a body bag. And sadly, that was the case in this case. Um, like I say, when you're in prison, you might, you, you, you're not getting as much drug as you would on the out. So your tolerance levels decrease massively. So where on the out, it might take an X, like a higher amount to get that. Because what people do when they take drugs, for those that don't know, you're chasing the high. So if you continuously take the same amount of a drug, doesn't matter what drug it is, recreational or otherwise, um, your body will build up a tolerance to it. So then you've got to take more and more and more and more because you're trying to chase that high. Um, and then you take more each time. But because your tolerance levels in prisons decrease, it takes less of the drug, less of the drug. Um, and you are more susceptible to actually overdosing. <clears throat> and like I say, it's a sad and tragic case of Kevin Crehan. Every prisoner that's loved one die, every prisoner that dies in prison in this way, whether it be a suicide, whether it be an overdose, or whether it be, uh, and, it, and it's attributed to the prison's healthcare and stuff like that, then every prisoner's family should um, go down the legal route and stuff and s seek compensation and damages. Now, compensation, it's not a financial incentive to like, because it's not going to bring your loved one back, but should they fight hammer and tong to get justice for their loved one? Yes. And that what goes hand in hand with that is compensation. Um, and like I say, the, there was a, a story recently where someone got seventeen thousand pounds. Seventeen thousand pounds for the lot for the, for the price of their losing their loved one. It's disgusting. Um, all prisons are failing, guys. Private prisons, public sector prisons, Her Majesty's prison, obviously HMP. Private prisons. The fact is, the Ministry of Justice are failing prisoners, prisoners' families, and even prison officers, guys. Uh, that's the sad reality. Um, God bless Kevin Cree and may rest in peace. Me and my subscribers are pretty much guaranteed that we guys are behind you guys and support you guys wholeheartedly and stuff. Keep doing what you're doing. If you want to speak to me for my channel, please feel free to contact me. My contact details are in the uh, description. Um, yeah, but sorry for your loss, guys. God bless Kevin. May rest in peace. And no one should leave prison in a body bag in this way. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.